hotter summers, longer pollen seasons, and record rainfalls. These changing patterns are putting our health and the health of those we love at risk. So, communities around the country are taking steps to prepare. State, local, and tribal health officials are using the Building Resilience Against Climate Effects framework developed by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, called BRACE for short. The five-step process is used to develop strategies and programs that help communities prepare a coordinated community response to the health effects of a changing climate. Step one is identifying what climate effects are relevant locally, how those might lead to new or expanded health threats, and who is most at risk. The next step is to calculate expected impacts on the local population, and then rank the severity of each threat. This is called projecting the disease burden. What it does is it helps health officials tackle the worst risks first. Step three is to identify ways the community can intervene to prevent or reduce health effects. For example, health officials who are expecting more high heat days might consider if it would be more effective to open community cooling centers or to collaborate on housing and development plans to protect vulnerable residents. Then in step four, health officials work with other community sectors to develop and implement their plan. For example, health officials may work with city planners to reduce the impact of urban heat islands or with broadcast meteorologists to alert people to prepare for extreme weather. Step five is evaluation. Health officials assess the success of their adaptation plans and gather lessons learned to apply for future activities. These five steps in the BRACE framework are designed to be flexible and responsive to local needs. Any community, whether urban, suburban, rural, or tribal, can use BRACE to prepare for the local health impacts of a changing climate. To learn more, visit cdc.gov forward slash climate and health.